Satnam. My name is Satwant Kaur and I'm from Birmingham in the United Kingdom and it's a pleasure to be with you to share in this 40-day series on Japji in preparation for the European Yoga Festival. I'm here to speak with you today about the manne bodhis of Japji. So it's interesting, following on from uh, Sornia, from the deep listening, now we come to manne. And this word manne repeats throughout all four bodhis. So we're going to spend some time today really looking into the depths of how to understand manne and how to uh, open ourselves to that experience. And then tomorrow we'll carry on with these bodhis, looking line by line at the meaning of manne, or at the meaning of the words of those lines. So manne, if you read different uh, translations of Japji, you probably will have seen multiple different explanations or translations of the word manne. I've seen it as uh, surrender, trust, faith, letting go, acceptance, agree, and uh, contemplation. So that's, that seems like it's maybe casting quite a, a broad net, but when we look at it a little more in, in detail, actually all of these things fit together. And some of them might be terms that people don't feel altogether comfortable with. Um, you know, acceptance, surrender, uh, that sounds like it could be like giving up or like you just have to go with the flow. You're told something and that's just what it is. You have to go with it. And in fact, uh, we're not talking about that kind of surrender. This isn't about like waving the white flag and giving up in some kind of state of apathy uh, or being becoming passive and not uh, not actively involved. Um, so so what could a different kind of surrender look like? Um, in fact, I, I was taught that it involves three stages: recognize, accept, and agree. And that's quite interesting because if you think about it, when we come out of Sunia with all this uh, these state of listening, um, we could be, how many times in your life have you uh, deeply known, deeply heard, and then in the next moment forgotten, or deeply heard and thought, oh my gosh, I'll just put that back in its box and leave it to the side, thank you very much. Um, so recognize is the first, uh, the first step but there's more to it, right? Because otherwise the mind distracts you, you get on to other things in the Maya and you get lost again. So how does this deep listening uh, actually take us somewhere? Um, so recognize first step, next step, agree. You know, how often is there a distance between what I want, uh, what my plan is or my vision of what's going to happen and what is? And in that gap between the two is where so much human suffering occurs. Um, I remember uh, in my own dark night of the soul, I took myself off away from everything and everyone, uh, went to really the furthest reach of the UK to a little island in the Outer Hebrides in the middle of winter, stayed in a little cottage, just really needed to be with myself to try to work through uh, my pain and where I was and my sense of my life not going in the direction I felt it should go in. And I remember one night going to bed in a deep state of misery and pain. And there was suddenly just this innocent little thought, you know, maybe my life would be a lot less miserable if I just agreed with my soul agreed with what my soul wants. Maybe what my life is meant to be has nothing to do with the image that I've been holding in mind. And in that moment of thinking that thought, it was just like a light switch had been switched in me and all this pain, like a really physical felt sense of pain 
disappeared, melted away, and was replaced with a deep sense of peace. So this, this practice of acceptance of uh, what is, of, uh, of being able to line oneself up with uh, what I want and what God in me wants, no difference between them. There being no space or gap in that, that's completely one alignment. And the third step then takes it just that little bit further to say, yeah, I agree with that. That's, uh, you know, I, I put my positive seal of approval on it. I'm fully with this. It's not a passive acceptance, but I volunteer. Um, I put myself forward for this path. And so this actively saying yes to it really uh, changes the whole experience. So this gives us, can you, can you relate inside to that sense of having a moment in life where I have recognized, accepted, and taken that final step of, I say yes to this. This is describing manne, this state of wholehearted acceptance, a state of surrendering, letting go of the little I, their plans, and putting myself forward for God's plans, um, for what is. And uh, we come to, there's a repeating line, so it's not just manne that repeats, but at the end of each of these four bodies, we have a line that repeats. Asa nam niranjan hoi jeko manne jane man koi. Asa nam. Nam is a word you know, uh, so this vibrational identity, this name. Asa um, Nam, such is the Nam. Niranjan Hoi. Niranjan is a word I really like. Um, anjan meaning related to Maya. Niranjan, Nir is like a, a negative suffix or a prefix meaning uh, beyond or without Maya. So Nir Anjan, when you put it together, it's often defined as uh, being totally pure or untinged by Maya. So we, when we make the journey to incarnate to this plane, we're, we've agreed to make this journey through time and space, through the Maya, uh, this world that they say is, you know, is burning on fire, suffering and in pain. Uh, we've agreed to make this journey through it, but what helps us to remember that there is something beyond the Maya. Because Maya is so hypnotizing, isn't it? You immediately get uh, sucked in and you can forget the timeless soul, the timeless uh, essence from which we came. And it's saying such is the Nam. Nam is that thing that is beyond Maya. And Jeko man jane. Jane means to know. Uh, so uh, this, this nam can be known to the mind through acceptance. So I think uh, as yogis, it's nice to have an experience of things in the body. And, you know, we could say that every asana that we practice is a moment to let go, to, you know, we give up our, our normal form of our body, put it into another posture, take on that form and have the experience of that form. So it's a kind of letting go of, you know, my habitual self that sits at a desk or, you know, sits in a car or stands up and walks around uh, to a different unhabitual self that uh, puts my head down and comes into downward dog or flips everything upside down that way. Um, you could say there's some postures maybe that relate a little more to this sense of surrender and letting go. Um, you know, the idea of having an inner uh, softening, an inner opening, so that the mind can come quiet and we can become more open to listening through the heart. And one posture that really does this for me, uh, that I'd like us to practice now, is Guru Pranam. So you come sitting on your heels with forehead on the floor. So it's sitting in this posture, forehead on the floor, 
and the arms extended out in front of you with your hands in prayer pose. So try just coming into that posture now and give yourself a few breaths to settle into this posture. Feel how your body can settle down into the gravity, bringing it towards the earth. And let your sense, get that sense of everything in your body aligning, all your cells, all your energy aligning with God in you, aligning with that vibrational identity, not with any label that the world of Maya has placed on you, uh, but with, with, with this God in me. Just like the, if you had a stack of metal shavings and you put a magnet th in front of them, how they all go zoop and align uh, in the same direction. Let yourself get that sense within your body. And allow yourself to soften into your breath, to allow, to let go of any firm thoughts, visions, plans that you are trying to push through and just allow everything that is in this moment. And in a very soft and gentle, kind of breathy, heart-centered sort of voice, let's chant together these four bodies. You can you can listen if you prefer, but if you know them, see if you can also put your own vibration into this. Mane gigate kehi na chai Jeko kehete che pachitai Kagate kalim na veka na hai Mane kape karne vichai Esanam ranjan hoi Jekumanjane Manne jamke sate na jai, esanam ranjan hoi, jeko manne jane manne koi, manne marek take na pai. Manne patisio parkat jai, manne magna chalne pante, manne tarne se di san pante, esa namne ranjan hoi, jeko manne jane manne koi. Manne babhe mok duai, manne parvare sadhai, manne tare tare kursik, manne nanik pavhe napik, esa namne ranjan hoi. Jeko manjane man koi Esa nam niranjan hoi Jeko manjane man koi Take a deep 
deep inhale. And gently exhale. Bring the palms of your hands flat to the floor and lovingly support yourself to come back up to sitting. Satnam, thank you so much for sharing this practice with me today. It was really a pleasure to be with you and I will see you again tomorrow to carry on with this study of these bodies. Satnam. Manne ki gat kahi na jaye, je ko kaha pashay pashtaye, kaagad kalam na likhna haar, manne ka bah karan vichar, aisa naam naranjan hoye, je ko man jane man koye. Manne surat hove man budh, manne sagal pavan ki sudh, Manna mohe chota na khai, manna jam ke saath na jai. Aisa naam niranjan hoye, je ko man jane man koye. Manna marg thak na paaye, manna patsyo par gat jai. Manna mag na challa panth, manna tarm se ti san band. Aisa naam niranjan hoye. जे को मन जाने मन कोई मन पाव है मोख द्वार मन परवार सादार मन तर तारे गुर सिख मन नानक पवे नापिक ऐसा नाम निरंजन होए जे को मन जाने मन कोई